welcome to this week's Patriots Mailbag. I am Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDoug, and I'll try to answer it here or in my weekly written mailbag on Nesson.com. Let's get right into it. JBS asks, how do you think the running backs will split reps until Damian Harris comes back from IR? Mostly James White. Uh, I think James White will continue to take on that third down role as a pass catcher. Might get mixed in a little bit on early downs as a runner, but I think that it's going to be Sony Michelle on early downs, Rex Burkhead as the change of pace back, maybe on you know, early and late downs. But I don't know, the Damian Harris injury is certainly interesting. He looked great in training camp. Hype was high for Damian Harris in his second pro season, but then he got hurt and Sony Michelle came off the pup list. So now it's back to being Sony Michelle's job to lose. He was the first round pick. I don't think the Patriots will let Sony Michelle lose that role at this point without a fight. So that's one of the reasons why I've been actually adding Sony Michelle late in some of my fantasy drafts, because I think that he might actually wind up having a pretty good season here. Uh, second question comes from Jim Gulhuli, who asks, will Cam be given designed running plays or will the Patriots play it safe? I hope he runs only when he has to. I certainly do think there will be some designed running plays for Cam Newton. This Patriots mix some new elements into their offense, and maybe maybe some read option plays. This isn't necessarily a run for Cam Newton, but maybe some RPO mixed in there. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think that Cam Newton will be carrying the ball. I think he'll obviously primarily be used as a passer and maybe they'll try to limit the amount of times that Cam Newton runs the ball early in the season just as they get him back used to contact but no I think the Patriots will definitely use Cam Newton's legs to their advantage and like I said get a little bit more creative than we've seen them on offense in years past because clearly Tom Brady with his 5 2 40 yard dash speed certainly wasn't going to be running any read options in the Patriots offense. Uh, third question here and final one comes from Rudens who asks, why haven't the Patriots brought in Snacks Harrison to play the nose while Bo Allen is on IR? Why hasn't anybody brought him in for that matter? And some of that might just be you no know, roster construction with the way that the NFL sets up these contracts. If a veteran is on uh, a team in week one, then his salary is guaranteed. So maybe in week one, Patriots just see what they've got uh, in at their defensive tackle room as it is, where they've got Lawrence Guy and Adam Butler and, and uh, Byron Cowart. Maybe they bring someone up off the practice squad like Xavier Williams. Um, and maybe that will give them a little bit more time to assess Bo Allen's injury as well. We never saw Bo Allen during training camp, so I'm not sure when he potentially could come back, but there's always the possibility the Patriots could bring someone off their practice squad like Nick Thurman or Xavier Williams or Bill Murray. Uh, but I don't know, maybe Snacks Harrison uh, gets signed after week one, but I certainly don't think that will happen in the next coming days here, just based on the fact that, like I said, his contract would be guaranteed, and teams typically don't like to do that uh, with players who are still available at this point in the summer.